Hi, I'm Annalie Gomez Winshuttle, and I'm consulting in CSR and sustainability at KPMG Denmark. I'm here with Anna Gillicall, Senior Advisor in Corporate Sustainability at Novo Nordisk. Anna, thank you for taking the time to be with us today. Looking forward to the next 25 mm -hmm. years of CSR and sustainability reporting, what would mm -hmm. you say Novo Nordisk's priorities are going to be? I definitely see less focus on the printed version and then a better wish for having more digitalized uh, disclosure and not just once a year, but actually uh, having initiating a conversation all year round rather than just this one big kawoosh, now you have your CSR report. Speaking of uh, structure and how mm -hmm. the information is presented not only to um, investors but to regular readers, mm -hmm. um, Novo Nordisk has gone through a transformation um, a bit as well of mm -hmm. the way that you discuss sustainability. Yeah. Just this year, you went away from publishing a separate UN Global Compact report and mm -hmm. you've included it more both online yeah. and in your mm -hmm. report as an integrated report. Yeah. Um, and we see that companies do all sorts of different things. Mm -hmm. Can you say a little bit about the developments um, as far as that kind of structure? Our journey has been for us that we have moved towards integration. We're not completely there yet, but it's definitely some of the conversation that putting everything into one report or actually doing the reporting earlier on has generated a lot of conversation. When you suddenly start your uh, uh, start asking your executive management to put a statement into your sustainability report, they will suddenly also want to learn what's in there and what, why is that in there and, and why do we disclose this and can we also disclose this and is this is transparent enough and what are the expectations. And then, of course, to us, because we have been uh, trying to push the envelope in terms of how you can do CSR mm -hmm. reporting, saying that it's not just something separate, it's right. something that's integrated with the performance, it's also generated a lot of uh, attention to how we talk about sustainability. So by that way, it becomes a way that you can teach the organization to explain what sustainability or the triple bottom line means within the organization, because suddenly you have a certain space where you can talk about your report. And on behalf of KPMG, thank you so much for joining us today. You're welcome. Us today.